get into it. Hi kitties and welcome back to the channel. I'm Kitty Kates and I hope you're having a wonderful day. If not, let's smoke about it, talk about it, blend about it, do whatever you want to do about it except for being negative about it. For today's video, we are jumping into a makeup tutorial. Yay! I know, it's been, it's been a long, long time. But today we are going to be matching... This is Jacob's RJ. Nice little tube ski right here. So basically, I'm gonna be matching the rainbow fades. I might throw a toucan on my face. Depends on uh, how I'm feeling. If you guys wanna watch me do that, stay tuned. And well, let's get started. So I gathered up our products that we're going to be using to match this beautiful piece. We're actually going to do a full face today. So unlike any other look I normally do, we're gonna start with the base, foundation, concealer, all that jazz, and then we're gonna do the eye look, which is normally not something I do. But I feel like I wanna go a little bit bigger with this eye look, a little bit, you know, bigger, basically. Tie my hair back. Okay, what do we start with first? Prime, because it's a crime, not a prime. This is the Urban Decay All Nighter. I have just a bit left of this, so I'm just using it up. This also is definitely a lot tackier than the Optical Illusion, so this is going to help build a barrier to my skin, especially with me having a couple breakouts right now against the makeup. The Optical Illusion one is very hydrating. So before I started this, I went ahead and moisturized my face. Because if you have dry or combination skin, you have flaky bits that tend to hide underneath your foundation, definitely try moisturizing. Actually, I recommend everybody to moisturize before you do your makeup. It's just a big help. All right, I'm gonna let that set. This is the Becca Plumping Chapstick, which I really love. I got natural lips, so anything that can help a girl out. I'm not into needles. I don't do, I don't do needles, so. It's good, good alternative. I did pick out our eyeshadow palette. It's the Impressionism palette from Musée Beauty. This is a really fun, rainbowy palette based on art. Love it. So I think we're ready. Wish me luck and if you're following along I wish you luck too. Alright let's get started. Alright my primer is set. I think I'm gonna go in I'm gonna start with our concealer. This is the CoverGirl True Blend. This is an amazing dupe for the Shape Tape by Tarte. Just gonna cover up those noticeable breakouts. And then I have this small sample of the Winky Lux Concealer. I really like it. I'm just going to put this, ooh. It's kinda hard to get out of that tube. This is closer to my skin tone, so I'm gonna put that around my nose. And we're gonna do a Beauty Blender to blend this out. This is the Morphe one. It's pretty decent. I like that this has a flat side, very sharp, so you can really get into the corners, also to bake. It's very helpful for that nose contour. We're just gonna blend this in, doing our press motion. If you struggle to build that coverage over a breakout or an acne scar or anything like that, wait a few seconds before you go to blend because it's all, it's starting to set. So it's going to actually 
look like you didn't blend, which you want as it's going to cover that blemish a lot easier. So once it kind of dries, you can add another layer on top to blend it out around it. Okay, so here is our concealer. Nice and easy. Next is going to be our foundation. This is the Hydromaniac from Urban Decay, the Stay Naked. This is technically a tinted moisturizer, but it's a medium to full coverage, which is, is really great. So we're going to use that. I love the little squeeze tube because I can draw it on my face. It's always fun. Hee <laughs> hee. Um, I am going to be switching to a foundation brush to apply this. This foundation brush is from Sephora. I have been trying my hardest to hunt down this brush again. I'm not sure they make it anymore. It's called the obviously the pro foundation 47 brush it's like a fun little actually you know what i feel like this brush is starting to get popular again i've had this one for so long it's like the little kitten foot yeah i've always loved this foundation brush Okay, now we're going to highlight our face. It's different than um, our blemish correction, I should say. Now we're actually going to go in and highlight our face using the same concealer. This is the True Blend. I'm just going to reapply those lines like we did before. And from the corner of my lips out, top of the cupid's bow chin, tip of my nose, and a line up the forehead. Switching back to our beauty blender or our sponge, we're just going to blend that out. Oh my gosh, I have a tickle around my nose. That always happens. Oh, especially when you put foundation on your face. We're getting close. But this is basically going to be our basic base before we adding any contour, blush, all that jazz. So I'm going to go ahead and set this with my Morphe Continuous Spray. Okay, now that our face base of liquid slash cream products are set, we're going to actually go and move to our eyebrows and start the eye look. And then we'll finish our face with the bronzing and blush and everything towards the end. <sighs> that way I don't get color all over my hands when I'm working on this eye look. I'm going to do my brows a little differently than I have in the past. Uh, this is Item Beauty, I believe. Um, it's the wrong color for me, but I am going to use like this little, little brush to just push my brows into place. It is a cute little brush. To look at the shape that they're growing into. Definitely need an eyebrow wax. I feel like I say that every video. Forever needed an eyebrow wax. 
eyebrows grow too. I'm so, so damn fast. Okay, switching over to my Precisely My Brow by Benefit in the 4.5. And I'm just going to lengthen and fill in my brows. I haven't done a full eyebrow in a hot minute. Okay. Ooh, dry contact. <laughs> I'm going to go back to that brush. I'm just going to kind of blend. Alright, once we got our color and our fill here. We are going to top it with some brow gel. I thought I wanted to use the laminate, but I think it's just going to come right off. So I'm just going to top it with some clear brow gel. This is Benefit's um, Gimme Brow. No, 24 hour brow setter. Fluff the front. Okay. Brows are good. Now we're going to prime with our P. Louise. This is the Rumor 0.5. I'm not going to do the white because that's going to be our separation from a lot of these different colors. So we're going to go to the closest to our skin tone our eyeshadow base. A little bit goes a long way with this stuff. Ooh. I'm also going to lightly sculpt my eyebrows with this. It's a two-in-one product. It's actually more than a two-in-one product, but in this moment, it's a two-in-one. A very useful product. I'm only going to work on one side and then the other, which I guess I already shot myself in the foot because... All right, well, you guys overheated, and while y'all were cooling down, I finished this side. Very happy with it. Um, let's cross your fingers that I can achieve it on the other side now, so I can show all of you. As you can see, I have the evidence of the color palette on the back of my hand. I did make the mistake of using one brush do the blend, therefore I need to clean it. Poor brush is like, I'm sorry! I have weeks of looks. Whoa. Weeks of looks. Yeah, that's bad. Clean your makeup brushes. Clean your makeup brushes. Starting with a small tapered blending brush. And I strayed away from 
the Musée palette and I picked up the Alyssa Edwards Anastasia Beverly Hills palette. I'm going to go in with this bright yellow called Brick Road. Probably my favorite color. Tap out lightly. We're just going to build this right underneath the front of our eyebrow, staying on the crease line. And I forgot to do the P. Louise. P. Don't mind me. This is a cheat. Do, 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 do. The great thing about these P. Louise is they melt really well with shadows, so I didn't really screw myself. But I want that pigment payout, so primer is your friend. Alright. Take two. Much better. Right from here, we're going to pick up an orange. Now, I did go back to that Musée palette, picking up Sunrise. I'm just going to blend that right next to it. Next, I started with the reds. Next, I started going into the pinks. The red was poppies, and this is called amar amaranth. That's not that. I don't know what it says, but we're going to go with amaranth, even though that's not the name, but that's the only name I can think of right now. That looks like that. From here, I switched back to the Alyssa Edwards palette and I picked up their hot pink called Texas Made. Just going to brighten up that pink. Next, we did purple from the same palette called Believe. This one's very, very nice. And last is I did a blue right at the end. Give it some depth. Okay. And with a different brush, I... If I can find it. Where did you go? Where did you go? I miss you so... I found it. And I found my favorite teal green color in the Musée palette called Parasol. And I just put that just towards the front to complete that beautiful rainbow we all love. Wonderful. Whew. All right, let's cut crease it. We are cut. Now we're going to lay our clouds. This is a small little painter's brush. As small as I can find. I'm always hunting down little detail brushes. And I'm just going to freehand this. And I don't want it to look exactly the same on the other side, but the general same idea.
good for right now. Now we're going to kind of fill in the clouds with a few different colors. First what I did is I took another P. Louise. This is in Ruby, Root Boy Red. And this is going to help create our pink that you see that's going on on the other side. My face is definitely going to be stained after this. I'm just going to mix some of that red into my white. I'm going to go through and do the same thing I did with the white. And kind of create some pink clouds underneath my white ones. I'm going to grab the straight red for the darker section over here. That way it stays with the vibe. Start creating some of our bigger clouds for our cheeks. These pink clouds that I'm doing right now is kind of be a little bit of a base for our blush. So it's okay if you go a little overboard here. Okay, now we're going to start putting our white back in. You want to use a good amount of that uh, white so it leaves a good pigment. Definitely went a little overboard on this side. <laughs> I'll probably clean it up. See you guys in a second. Okay, it's a little different, but like I said, we're making it a little bit different. Um, I just got lucky with this side. Uh, I don't think it looks bad. We're going to add our blue, and hopefully it will come more together. I'm also going to start implementing the white shadow. I'm thinking that will make our white clouds pop a little bit better. Totally okay. I am successfully creating a mess, so that I'm good at. Okie doke. I'm going to add some of this light blue almond. That's what they named it. Also, happy Pride Month to everyone and anyone who is a part of that wonderful community. I hope you guys have a wonderful month. Jazz it up. Sing it up, dance it up, do whatever you want it up. Okay. I am a little content 
feel like I need more yellow. Yes. That's exactly what that needed, and this needs a little bit more white. Okay, we're basically done with the eye look. I'm gonna put on some lashes, some final touches for the eyes, switch out the battery, and then I think we need a little bit of a dead break, and then I will meet you guys back here. Let's go. Shh. <laughs> All right, kitties, here is our final look matching Jacob's RJ2. Um, speaking of Jacob, well, let's just see what's going on next to me in three. Two, one. <laughs> well, as you can see, we have one very sleepy honey and a very sleepy bee. I didn't have the heart to wake either of them up, so I hope you enjoy this ending and I hope you enjoy this tutorial because <laughs> I had a blast. It definitely has been fun getting back into some makeup. Again, you are all wonderful, beautiful, amazing people. Please be kind to one another, and I will definitely see you in the next one. Take care. Bye bye.